It's my one life, and I give it everything I got. I am music. I am sports. I am the culture. Very sad story coming out of Atlanta, Georgia for one of their own Rallo. So if you remember correctly, Rallo has been in prison since April of 2018. As the feds claim they seized more than 400 pounds of weed from Rallo and some members of his team off of a private jet. Well, if you also remember a few months ago, I believe July, August ish, I reported to you guys and other outlets as well that Rallo was going to get a bond really soon, which was a great sign in his case that he'd be getting out and at least able to make some type of money uh, while he kind of gets everything else together legally for this case. Well, time passed by and I had a lot of fans ask me, what's the update on Rallo? Why hasn't he come home yet? And unfortunately, over the last few days, uh, we found out that some shocking stuff has happened within Rallo's case that will keep him in prison, likely for a very long time. Judge Mitchell Brown, the judge residing over Rallo's case, has revoked Rallo's bond. Now, this comes after a shocking revelation, according to Vlad TV. This is Vlad's story. He got the court documents and all that stuff. They're claiming the reason why Rallo's bond was revoked is because Rallo was still selling weed and coke from prison. Apparently, in April of 2019, police were able to find a Apple Watch in which Rallo had that clearly shows messages between him and the mother of his kids in which Rallo's using codes. Apparently, they found some type of note in his baby mother's purse as well that, that kind of is talking in code about some of the, the drugs that they maybe were selling. Again, this is according to Vlad TV. Apparently, uh, one thing that Rallo told his BM was to save up every dollar you receive from grandma and keep all of the kids at dad's house and grandma house so you can know how much you got at all time. Obviously, I don't need to tell you what they've been able to code those things to, to mean. Let's just put it like this. They're, they're saying Rallo was not talking about his biological kids he was talking about some other stuff. So with that information, not only has Mitchell Brown, the judge in his case, revoked Rallo's bond, but now Rallo has coming up on the 6th of January and apparently Rallo has already pled guilty to this. Now, now from there, all I gave you was reported information. Now I'm about to give y'all a little bit of speculation. And, and again, I'm not the end all be all of this. I, I don't know everything about legal cases, but I have been doing this for about five years now. And I could tell y'all this, what I'm looking at and what I'm seeing from my vantage point is it looks like with this new evidence that judge Mitchell Brown and law enforcement officials have been able to put against Rallo and obviously the feds, it looks like Rallo looked up and said, all right, they got me. And I'm just going to plead guilty to these new charges, whatever new charges that, and we'll, we'll find that information out in the next couple of days. Uh, it looks like Rallo's like, all right, I'm going to just plead guilty to this. They probably threw the hammer at him, something crazy off the wall. And he maybe just pled guilty to, to try to salvage his life at this point. This man is fighting for his life right now in this case. It's a very sad story. I, honest to God, truth would have loved to see Rallo making music. He had a lot of support from since he, you know, since he's been in prison since 2018 that he's gotten over the last couple of years. And I would have loved to see Rallo and that new support that he's got you know, come back to the scene. Gucci's got the new 1017. I don't know what Rallo's situation will be with it, but you know, they, they're moving over there. Fujiano and Pooh Shiesty and some of the other artists over there, they, they moving. And I would have loved to see Rallo get a part of that, that, that wave and that momentum. I'm not sure when that will be this, the case again. I, I, again, he's it is not looking good from my vantage point in Rallo's case. Y'all, please let me know what y'all think about this one in the comment box below. Again, Rallo already pled guilty. He's got a court case coming up on the 6th of January, I believe, as apparently they were able to find an Apple Watch that was tied to him, uh, a piece of paper in his BM's, his BM's purse that, that apparently is coded notes, and they're claiming Rallo was moving some cocaine from prison. All right, they're, they're putting him as the mastermind behind that. And, and, and that is obviously not good news if you are a Rallo fan today. I thank you guys so much for the time, love, and support. I don't take it for granted. Salute.